Hi, here's a walkthrough of the, the sign roll, task 32-4 on uh, my maths. Right now, the sign roll uh, is taught in, in the, you, generally it's like A over sign A goes B over sign B or the other way around. Now, I don't like it like that. I always teach sign roll as A sign B equals B sign A. Okay, that's how I always use it. Um, I don't bother with uh, the C part because it's uh, pointless really. Uh, you always drop it anyway. Um, a and B are the angles and the sides, so lowercase is the, always the side and uppercase is always the angle. Uh, so the first thing to do is to label up, uh, and if there's any labels already on, just ignore them, cross them off. Uh, and if you do a question, you have to go back into it, cross your labels off, your own labels, and relabel all the time. So let's label up. So A is a side, and B capitals are the angles, which are opposite. So if this is side A, then angle A has to be directly opposite. Uh, this is going to be side B, and this is going to be angle B. Okay, so that's how I label up. Then I just plug things into the formula. So I've got A, which is X, sine B, which is 83, equals B, which is 12.3, sine A, which is 34. Okay, um, and then all I've got to do to find out what X is, is just um, work this out and then divide it by this thing, because this is X times it. So I've got X equals 2.3 sine 34. Uh, divided by sine of 83 and that's it so then I get my calculator and I'll just put a fraction on so let me calculate on first uh, check it's in degrees because it has to be in degrees 2.3 sine 34 sine 34 close a bracket over the sine of 83 and um, I can't remember whether it says one or two decimal places so let's just a quick look uh, give it a one decimal place uh, and then correct the nearest degree for the other two Right, so the one decimal place, this is going to be, so x is equal to 1.29, that runs off forever, but the one decimal place, that's going to be 1.3, because the second decimal place was a 9, 5 or more rounds up. So I've got 1.3, okay? On this question, um, the thing about this question, I've got the angle opposite x, but what I do know, angle's in the triangle at 180, don't I? So what I should know is, I should know that this one is 32 degrees. So I can just write that in because angle is in the triangle at 180. Then I can go for my rule. So this is going to be A, this is angle A, this is little B, side B, and this is angle B. So the 70 has got nothing to do here. Uh, plug in the formula, X sine of B, which is 78, equals 6.3 sine of A, which is 32. And then take the sine A, drop it on the bottom, x equals 6.3 sine 32 divided by the sine of 78. x is therefore equal to, grab your calculator, pressure fraction, 6.3 sine 32 bracket, clover over, sine of 78, sine 78, and I've got 3.41, 3.41 goes off forever, 3.4 to 1 decimal place. Okay, uh, next question, I'm looking for the angle itself, and it says to the nearest degree. Um, so it's exactly the same rule, uh, I label up, so let's go, we've got um, A, now we'll call it, yeah, A, and then that's capital A, uh, I've got side B and capital B, so then I fill the formula in. So A is 6.4 sine of 43, equals B 5.4 sine of X. Uh, to get rid of this 5.4, just drop it on the other side. So 6.4 sine 43 over 5.4 equals sine x. Now grab your calculator. So you can work this out. Fraction 6.4 sine of 43, close your bracket, over 5.4, press equals. And I get this number. So that's the sine of x. So to get x, I've got to do sine minus 1 of whatever that last answer was. Uh, so I just get my calculator, that do sin minus 1 of the last answer of that 0.8 rubbish. Uh, and I've got 53.9, 53.9 something or other, which is 54 degrees to the nearest degree. Okay, so I'll go again. Uh, we've got, uh, what have we got here? Oh, this is a... a uh, I'm going to have to get this one, I think, because I know that one, I know that one. I can't get this one. I don't know what this side is, and I can't figure it out without using something else. So I'm actually going to go for this angle here. So I'm going to call that angle A, 
uh, and this is going to be little a, this is going to be b, and this is going to be capital B, because if I know a and b, I can get c just by taking away 180, can't I? So that's what I'm going to go for. So I've got now a is 6.4 sine 82 equals 7.9 sine of a. Uh, drop the 7.9 on the bottom, 6.4 sine 82. Can I see all this? Yeah, let's just check. Uh, divided by 7.9 equals sine a. Go for the calculator uh, and I've got uh, the fraction 6.4 sine 82 all over 7.9. This equals, so it's 0 0.8 or something rather, so a is sine minus 1 to get rid of the sin bit of uh, the last answer that I had. So shift sin minus 1 of the answer and I've got 53 which is 53.3 something or other. So that's A, and therefore X is 180 for the triangle, take away 82, take away this 53.3 something or other. So I've got 180, take away 82, take away that answer that I just had, uh, which is 44.6. So 44.6 something, which is equal to 40. Five degrees to the nearest degree. So I'm always doing the rounding at the very, very end of the question. Now this question was uh, quite an interesting question. It's asking for the uh, two versions of x. Now one's less than 80, uh, one's more than 90, one's less than 90. Okay. So let's just see what happens when we run through the calculator um, with this thing. So we've got we'll label this a, uh, angle A, so side A, angle B, angle B and side B, so directly opposite each other. Throw them into the formula, so A sine B equals B, 5.7 sine A, which is the X part this time. Drop it on the bottom, so 9.4 sine 32 all over 5.7 equals sine X. Get your calculator on, uh, fraction, 9.4 sine 32 bracket all over 5.7 equals this mess, 0.87 or other. So x is going to be equal to sine minus 1 of that thing, so that answer, which is equal to, so I'll shift sine minus 1 of that answer, and I've got 60.9 uh, something or other, uh, and I'm going to guess, I don't know what this one is, one decimal place, uh, two, two possible answers, to the nearest degree, so I've got 60.9, um, 60.9, dot dot dot, which equals 61 degrees. All right, so that's actually the answer for this question. So this one's going to be 61 uh, degrees. Now, the thing about uh, when you press the sine minus one button, it gets you an answer, but there's actually an infinite number of answers. If you've ever looked at the sine curve, so the sine curve looks something like this thing. So it goes along there, it goes up to one, and then it comes back down. 180 and it comes down here and it comes back up and it just runs off forever so that's a sine curve right and what we did was um, if I just do sine of that answer we've looked at here where it was 0.87 and we found this answer here to be 61 now in fact if you go along you also hit the curve here so there's an answer down here as well um, which will be and it's uh, symmetrical which is a nice thing right the way the curve works, it goes 0, that's where 90 is, and that's 180 degrees. So a sine of 180 must be 0, right? And this answer here is the same distance away from 0 as that one is. So this answer is 180 take away 61. 180 take away 61, which is 119 degrees. I don't know whether you can see this. Am I just off camera here? Because so I've just taken the camera off. I don't know, I can see it all, so that's all right. So that's what's happening here, all right? And there's another answer along here if I just keep going with this curve and I'd find more and more answers. So this one's gonna be 119 and this one's gonna be uh, 61. So it was the curve really that uh, pinned me down to the 61 there. So that's what I'm gonna go for. My last question is asking me to find this angle at the top. So it looks like I've got all the matching up. So the sides are matching. So let's label. We've got side A, angle A, side B, angle B and we've got A 8.4 sine B 29 equals B 5.4 sine A which is X. 
Um, so we're going to go for the question. So we drop the 5.4 on the bottom. So we've got sine x equals 8.4 sine 29 all over 5.4, uh, which equals, there we go, 8.4 sine 29 all over 5.4. Uh, and I've got uh, 0 0.75, so x is equal to sine of that answer, that uh, 0 0.75 thing, which equals, i just check I'm going to the nearest degree again, yep, nearest degree. So shift sine minus 1 of the answer that I've just had, close my bracket and press equals, and I've got 48.95 or 49 degrees. So that's going to be um, x is equal to 49 degrees. However, it does say the obtuse angle, so I've got to go with this idea of the curve again, so see where the other angle is going to be, um, if I don't know what's going on yet. So I go up with the curve, I go down here, and then I come down, and I go up. So I've got 90, 180, uh, and then 360s over here. Now we've did sine minus 1 of some number, so sine of that thing. We did 0.75, so there's 0.75 or something. We hit the point here, and we also hit it here, and we would hit it further down the curve. Now we've read off this one was 49, okay? So what we need is this one, which is just equal to 180, take away the 49, which is 131 degrees. So that's the answer that I'm after on this question, 131 degrees. Whoop, I lost that there. Um, I did the 75, hit the graph, hit the graph here, and then read off what it was. It was 180, take away that 49, 131. Right, I'm going to put these answers into the uh, my math, see if they're right, and if they're right, I'll publish this one. If I'm not, I'll do it again. Worry.